Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Danny, and I'm back with another Zoophonics letter today. I brought my friend Dee Dee Deer, and she is here to teach you about the letter D. And guess what? Miss Danny loves the letter D because Danny starts with D. D, D, D. Now, you'll notice Dee Dee Deer has some antlers up here, and that's to help us remember how to say the sound to the letter D. So you're gonna, I'm gonna put Dee Dee right there. without getting too much in the way. And we're gonna make our little antlers and we're gonna say, D, D, dear, letter D says, duh, duh, duh. Awesome. So the letter D looks like this. It's big and tall and it's round almost like a circle, huh? But it's got a, I see a straight line in there and I also see a big curve. Can you guys help me figure out which of these lines would we use to make a, a DD deer? It's a big letter, so we should use a big line, huh? Hmm. So I'm looking with my eyes and I spy two curves. Which curve would you use? This one? I agree. And look at that. Super easy to make. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a big D. And to do that, let's do it this way, yeah. We always start at the top and we're going to go straight down and frog jump back up and big curve. Let's do that again. Straight down, frog jump, big curve. Ooh, I like that one. Can you get your magic finger out and point with me? Straight down, jump, big curve. Now, Dee Dee, dear, I said, Dee Dee, what do you want to do today? And she said, you have to read my favorite story. And it is not about deers. It's about an animal whose legs look just like a deer. It is called Giraffes Can't Dance. And Dee Dee, dear, picked this book because she loves to dance. Do you like to dance? So do I. So we're going to share this story for you, and then we're going to share a couple of songs because guess what Dee Dee Deer's favorite treat is? Donuts! So I have a couple donut rhymes. Let's start with our story. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was, a very, he was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really rather bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Look at those dancing animals. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Oh man, that wasn't very nice. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted in the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off of the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. 
Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoofs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck had started gently swaying, and his tail was swinging around. He threw his arms out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. Oh, I love that story, and I love the word dance. It makes me smile. All right. So the next fun activity I have has to do with Donuts. Can you guys say donuts? Donuts. So I have five donuts here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. This is a catchy tune, so when you catch on to it, sing with me. Ready? Five little donuts in a bakery shop, sprinkled with powdered sugar on top. Along comes a preschooler with a penny to pay. They buy a donut and take it away. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four. Show me four. Good job. Four little donuts in a bakery shop, sprinkled with powdered sugar on top. Along comes a preschooler with a penny to pay. They buy another donut and take it away. How many do we have now? Three. Ready? One, two, three. Three little donuts in a bakery shop, sprinkled with powdered sugar on top. Along comes a preschooler with a penny to pay. They buy another donut and take it away. How many donuts now? Two. Let's count them. One, two. Two little donuts in a bakery shop. Sprinkled with powdered sugar on top. Along comes a preschooler with a penny to pay. And buys another donut and takes it away. How many left? Show me one. One little donut at the bakery shop. Sprinkled with powdered sugar on top. Along comes a preschooler with a penny to pay. Buys another donut and takes it away. Oh no, all of our donuts got eaten up, didn't they? Well, there. I have one more fun song for you because donuts are a very popular thing at my house. Dee Dee Dear, should we spell donut for them? To spell donut, it is D-O-N-U-T. Let's say it together. D-O-N-U-T. That sounds like a catchy song about my favorite dog, Bingo. But it's Donut instead of bingo. Are you guys ready to sing it together? It goes like this. I know a treat that has a hole, as you can plainly see. D-O-N-U-T, D-O-N-U-T, D-O-N-U-T. Now save a bite for me. Chop. Oh no, what letter did I take away? I ate the D. Let's do it again. I know a treat that has a hole as you can plainly see. O-N-U-T, O-N-U-T, O-N-U-T. Now save a bite for me. Chomp. I took the O away. Let's do it again. 
I know a treat that has a hole as you can plainly see. N U T N U T N U T now save a bite for me. Chomp! I took the N away. I know a treat that has a hole that you can plainly see. U T U T U T now save a bite for me. Chomp! I took the U away. Here we go. I know a treat that has a hole as you can plainly see. T. 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 Now save a bite for me. Chomp. Uh-oh. We got nothing left. Dee Dee Deer, should we, should we do it? Let's sing it. I know a treat that has a hole as you can plainly see. Now we're going to clap five times. Ready? Now save a bite for me. There's no more left. All right, boys and girls, thanks for all the fun with letter D and D, D, deer. Let's do it one more time so we don't forget. Get your antlers up. Ready? D, D, deer. Letter D says duh, duh, duh. Good job. See you next time.